Welcome to the second week of the Scott County Public Library Summer Reading Program for the school age children. I hope you enjoyed our intro. hope that was exciting for you. Um, this week we are doing shadow theater. So there are lots of ways that you can do shadow theater. Um, we're going to be making a box that looks something like this, um, where you can hold up your own paper cutouts for puppets. But if you look online, there are a ton of pictures of various sizes of cardboard and boxes that people have cut out and decorated. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you like. Uh, this one is just some cardstock and paper and they've got their monkeys on some strings. So you can make moving parts if you want to. And most of the shadow theater I've seen examples of has also been focused on fairy tales and since our theme is Imagine Your Story um, we will be using the fairy tale um, angle for this week. Another way that you could build your shadow theater might be using Legos. Uh, the intro at the beginning with the dinosaurs was actually made with a Duplo Lego um, shadow theater. Um, I will actually be posting that to our virtual Lego club later on this week, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out as well. So hopefully you have something at home that you can make these with. If you don't have Legos, if you don't have a box, you can always just use a sheet and make some shadows, or even just get a flashlight and put some shadows up on the wall. Okay, so here are the supplies that I use for this project. There's a box cardstock, white paper, scissors, and some coffee stirs for my puppets, and some tape. And I just measured out the space that I wanted to cut out of my box. Uh, you might want to get an adult to help you make the cut. This will be where you will then place your white paper where you will make your shadows. So you, I just taped mine down. I just laid a plain old piece of eight and a half by 11 and taped it straight to the box. When I made my puppets, I was lucky to have access to a Cricut cutting machine at the library. So I just picked some stereotypical uh, fairy tale images and cut those out with the Cricut. I did cut some extra, so if anyone wants to pick any up at the library, just call and let me know and we'll set some aside for you. Um, but you can find plenty of free templates on the internet. I've also made a copy of the exact templates that I used and it will be available on our blog if you would like to cut them out yourself. Um, and I also included a simple Three Little Pigs template that you could cut out um, very easily with just a pair of scissors. I attached my puppets to coffee stirs because we had quite a few at the library. Um, but I like this one with bendy straws. That would make it easy to move them without seeing the straw. I've even seen uh, animal cookies on toothpicks, which is a really clever idea. Um, if you're using little toys, those will make perfect shadows as well. If all else fails, you can just use your own hand to make some shadows. <coughs> And here you can see that I just used some, some sticky tack, like for posters, to keep some of my puppets in place, like the castle that I wanted to be there the whole time. Um, it's just my phone, my cell phone is my flashlight. It's propped up against a tape dispenser. Um, so anything that you can use, a lantern or a flashlight, and that is all you need. All right, 
right, so I've picked four books this week if you need a little inspiration to make your own fairy tale. All the books that I chose were fractured fairy tales, which is basically means it's a fairy tale that's been broken down and rewritten from a different point of view. Uh, the first one is The True Story of the Three Little Pigs by John Sheska. Ninja Red Riding Hood by Corey Rosen Schwartz. Seriously, Cinderella is so annoying, as told by The Wicked Stepmother, which is by Trisha Speed Shoskin. And the villain series, which is a different take on the Disney villains. Uh, the stories are all told from their point of view. Um, they are written by Serena Valentino, and those would probably be better for our older readers. Alright, and you guys know that I would never ask you to make something if I wasn't willing to show you what I made first. So please enjoy an original fairy tale by me in my own production of Shadow Theater called A Princess Relocation. Queen Lizzie lived in the largest, oldest, coldest, and draftiest castle in the entire kingdom. Every day, the meanest princes and the cruelest dragons from neighboring kingdoms would line up outside of Lizzie's castle and dare her to come out and fight. But Lizzie didn't want to fight. She was too tired for one. She couldn't get a good night's sleep because it was always so cold. She didn't want that dumb old castle anyway. Not knowing what to do, Queen Lizzie called up her big bad wolf fairy godmother and asked her for some help. Well, of course, she knew just what to do. She huffed and she puffed and she wished that castle into a two-bedroom bungalow with central heating and air and a view of the sea. All right, well, thanks for joining us this week. There are four handouts that will be available on the blog, or if you aren't able to print them from home, you can give us a call and we'll print them out, and you can drop by and pick them up. Um, we would love to see any of your shadow theater, and you can share that with us either through our Facebook page or through our blog or through the email listed here. And don't forget that every time you share some of your work with us, your name will be entered into a drawing for a $10 Walmart gift card, and we will pick a winner each week. So, for instance, if you send us a picture of your completed Mad Lib for this week, that would give you one chance to win. Um, or you could send us a video if you like, but if you can't send a video, which is totally fine, you could just send us a still picture of your shadows inside the box. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope you're able to do something fun with it. And I hope you guys are all having a safe and fun summer. See you next week.